first question is A, find, find B and put low. Uh, so we have to assume, since it's low, that all the current is going to go this way. Because uh, even, if it, even if this current is there for a regular transistor, because BJT operation happens this way, um, we can assume that this one is still going to be off because the current's going this way. The only way this is on is if the current is coming in this way. So we say this is off. This is also off. And uh, all the current is flowing here. And then you say V B E four and V B E two is less than 0.5 since he gave it there. So this is 0.5 here. This is 0.5. And then this becomes one one volt here. And then uh, you can do um, one minus 0.2 because this when this is on like operation it's normal mode. But you consider it saturated. Anytime you have TTL, it's saturated. So uh, it's given as 0.2, so it's point, point 0.2 here. And then, so you take that 1 volt minus 0.2 to give you 0.8 here as V and below. And then for V, B1, uh, what are they asking? Worst case, I input low when V input is 0.3 volts. So you're saying that this is um, 0.3 volts here. So V, B1 is going to be... Um, this one right here, right? So it's point three plus point seven. Oh no, no, no! This one. This is B one. Uh, is point three plus point seven is one volt, and then we get I beta I beta one as five minus one one uh, over ten k is point four milliamps, and then to get I input low, since we we're calculating this because we know all the currents going this way. So uh, is same as IE1, and then you take beta lateral and multiply because uh, IE is, be is beta plus 1 times IB. And then you get this value. And then for part C, V output, when V input is, are both low, so this is, or actually both zero volts, we don't know how that will, uh, um, and I out is 5 milliamps. So how you solve this is um, you set up your equation. So how is I out right here is the equivalent of um, right now this, this five milliamps is the same as I B plus I B what uh, what is this I B three plus I C three. So this is uh, I B three is here and then I C three is here. So you can just add those up to get IE here. And since this is off, um, because you know since it's a low operation, um, this all this current is just gonna go is gonna be the same as here. So um, I out is what well, he's saying it's negative. Yeah, I out is this way, so it's negative five because it's coming down this way. So how you solve this is I B one um, but, okay, so IB1 is 5 minus, okay, is this one, uh, this is IB, IB3, IC3, and then uh, you can get this from here, 5 minus 0.7 from this, this one right here, and then 0.7 here uh, gives you this difference, and then minus V out, which is this. And you want to try. You want to try and try to find V out. So that's how you, that's how you do this. And then here, same thing with I C three. It's five minus point two because this part is saturated. Um, and then uh, because this is on, and then this is minus point seven for this diode, and then this V zero, and then divide by uh, this is I think point one. Um, so. Yeah, because it's V0 plus 0.7 plus 0.2 gives you this voltage right here. And then same thing here, V0 plus 0.7 plus 0.7 is this voltage. So that's how you get that current. And then uh, you multiply by 1K, and then you simplify, and you should get that. Now part D is find maximum I out when V input, v input 1 is 3 volts, and V input 2 is open circuit. So... Uh, this is 
three volts now. So if this is three volts, then you say that Q3 is off because now in this open circuit means that normally in beta lateral mode, you need both of them to be on, but he's saying it's open circuit, so you consider it not there. So this is operating in reverse then. So this is gonna be in reverse. And then this will be on, this will be on, and then this one will be off. Um, okay, so in that case, you can calculate, you want I out, right? So I out is the same as uh, here, how did I get I out? I out is beta I B4, because this one is on, there's nothing here. So you want to get this, IB4. And you want to get the IC of this, because you know this is off. So that's what this is. So to get that, you have to do all these steps. So IB1 is here. 5 minus 2.1, because now you know that these are on. So this is going to be 0.7. These two. Uh, yes, VB1 is here, so it's 0.7 plus 0.7 plus 0.7 here because now it's in reverse, so the transistor is this way. So this is 0.7 here. Um, so you get 5 minus 2.1 over 10k is 0.29. So now IE1, which is in parentheses because I'm talking about this E, which is actually technically IC. So you say is beta reverse times 1 uh, is equal to 0.435. Now VC2 is here, this, um, oh, v, yes, VC2 is this, so is equal to VBE4, which is this, plus, uh, plus VCE2 sat, so it's this voltage plus the saturated, because you know this is on, um, and that gives you 0.9 here. So then for IC2, you can get, uh, here, this, I, this is IC2, um, gives you 0.4, uh, 4.1, and then, because 5 minus 0.9, and then you get IE2, which is this one right here, because you need to get this current to get this current. So you have to calculate this plus this. Um, and you know that there's, this one is off, so nothing is going to go here, so this is zero. So this is IE4, uh, and then, uh, yeah, you get, uh, which is IB4 right here, so this is IE2 is the same as IB4, and then you get I out as that. And then fan out, I don't know if you understand, but fan out is like, you have this circuit right here, and you have output low, and this is low, so it's like how many can you attach um, in, in, the, in parallel where this is n. So it's n times i input uh, required is equal to i out available. So in the low state, this would be i input low, and this is i out max. So um, we know that this is. Well, I hope max when you calculate it in this state is going to be low uh, because this this transistor is on, so it's going to pull the voltage down. If this one was on and this one was off, it would take the voltage from the top. So this is low now. So you can use this current and then divide it by your I input low to get this number. 